Hello students, this is question number 19th of paper 2 of physics, JE Advanced 2021. Let's see what does this, uh, what does this question says. In a photo emission experiment, maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons from metals P, Q, R. So there are three plates, one is P, one is Q and one is R. So there are three plates and uh, electrons come out of it with a maximum kinetic energy of E, P, E, Q and E, R. Okay. And they are related by EP equal to 2, EQ equal to 2R. So if I assume ER to be equal to K0, then EQ also becomes equals to K0 and EP becomes equals to 2K0. So these are the kinetic energies in terms of K0, uh, a variable that I, I assume from my side. In this experiment, same source of monochromatic light is used for P and Q. So for P, we have used a one particular frequency and for q we use the same frequency for r we used a different frequency let's call it as nu prime okay uh, the work function of p q r so work function of p is 4 electron volt of q is 4.5 electron volt and of r is 5.5 electron volt now we want to know the energy of the incident photon used in the metal r so this the energy of this photon is what we want to know so let's write the applicable equations here so I'm going to write H nu naught minus 4 is equals to 2 K naught and K naught can itself be written as 2 H like H naught minus 4.5. So I think this gives me the liberty to find out the value of H naught, H nu naught. So H nu naught equals what? Uh, 9 minus 4 equals 5. So H nu naught is having this value. Using this we can calculate the value of K naught also. For example, if I put this H nu naught in, in this part, which represents K naught, then I get the value of K naught as 0.5 electron volt. The moment you have this value, you can now write H nu dash minus 5.5 is equals to K naught, which means H nu dash is 5.5 plus K naught, which is 6. So 6 electron volt is the answer that we sought and we found it. It's a simple question. You understand what is given in the question. You interpret it. You write the applicable equation and it's very easy to reach the answer. So I hope many of you did it correctly in the exam when you tried this. With this, we close the discussion of paper 2 of physics. I hope you enjoyed all the solutions. Take care students. All the best.